Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're at in the world. Thank you for joining me today. Thanks, those, for signing up. I just want to say this is like my six-month anniversary being on YouTube. And um, I got about 17,000 subscribers, so I just wanted to thank you all for that. So today's going to be kind of a random thing. I don't really have any organization at all, honestly, on this video. But um, I have some money-saving tips on various things, so that's what we're going to talk about. Okay, and these are going to be from Consumer Reports, so they're pretty legit. All right, and I'm going to pause this every once in a while. Um, so we're going to talk about mesh routers. If you're in the market for mesh routers... This is from Consumer Reports on what they came up with. Now, they're usually not biased, by the way. So, um, these are all pretty high. Um, if you're in the market for a router, this is what they came up with. If you're in the market for a pressure washer and you want to start your own business, because that's what we talk about on this channel, money-saving tips, starting your own business, having your own career. If you don't want to work for somebody else, Start a power washing, pressure washing company. Um, people do it quite often. So here's some of the prices on them and the overall scores. The overall scores are really not that high, only about 68. Now, the thing about pressure washers, um, they're great for cleaning concrete patios and driveway, but you want to avoid some surfaces. Decks made from hardwood and even many tre pressure treated woods like southern yellow pine are usually fine to pressure wash, but composite decks might not be good. So if you're starting your own business, you just want to keep that in mind or you're going to have a lawsuit coming after you. Check with the brand first, start with a low pressure nozzle and, and do an inconspicuous spot to ensure the spray doesn't leave marks. So a lot of these pressure company pressure washing companies use bleach in their whatever they're cleaning the house with so you know you want to make sure you don't go into somebody's home and start um, destroying their products um, never pressure wash a roof or a car okay let's look at some dish detergents so we all a lot of us anyway who have um, dishwashers And these are not super expensive. Kirkland brand, nine cents per load, eighty-six. Cascades a little higher, twenty-two cents per load. Big significant difference there. How well does the dish detergent remove caked on foods? Does it leave water spots? All right, let's look at interior paints. Home Depot is known for bare. Uh, Lowe's Sherwin Williams, sixty-two a gallon, and Bear Premium Price, of course, Home Depot again. So um, it just depends on the quality you want, I guess. Bear Premium Price is not too bad. How well it paints a black surface and a single coat. So that's not too bad, thirty-five a gallon, and they got almost an eighty. All right, let's look at some other. Okay, let's look at some rice cookers and some air purifiers. These are all things we use around the home. So this is coming from Consumer Reports. And this is in 2022, by the way. If you're watching this video three years from 2022, it'll probably be outdated. But hopefully you'll be watching a, an updated video. So these are the rice cookers, and they tested three models. They're only showing the, the top three. And they're all pretty reasonably priced, between $30 and $45, depending on how, how much you cook rice, what you need. So they test whether how easy it is for the controls, the program settings, and the quality of the rice. These are not reasonably um, expensive. Air purifiers. Do you need an air purifier? I mean, $750. Oh, my goodness. 
I guess it depends on how much you need an air purifier. Top perfume performer, but pricey, I would say so. Um, two fifty to three hundred is pretty decent. So you go up fifty dollars, and the score goes up ten. Great dust removal for less. Quiet or pick. So depending on what you're looking for, this has great dust removal. If you've got cats in the house or pets, um, that might be a good thing. This one's a quiet or pick. If you need it quiet. All right. Okay, let's look at some of the um. Some of these trackers for walking. Well, not all of them are trackers for walking. Some of these are earphones. These are things that are going to help you when you are walking, I guess. So we got this thing over here, which are earphones. It's called Sennheiser. They're $80. They got a pretty good overall score. And these earphones offer great sound. They connect to each other on a wire. They can rest on the back of your neck. All right, so $80 is better than $275. I get mine from Apple and they're $275. So this is pretty good, $80. Okay, the Fitbit, if you're into measuring how much you walk, measuring your heart rate, if that helps keep you motivated, then the Fitbit Inspire 2 for $100 got a pretty good score. These things that we are highlighting here come from Consumer Reports in 2022, and they're usually not biased. By the way, this is not getting sponsored. And um, we got the Ultralight Black Hole Mini Hit Pack, which is showing right up here on the screen. So this is $29, and... Personally, I use a running belt, and this looks pretty nice. It's got weather resistant. It can be worn as a crossbody sling, leaving your hands free, and you can put your phone, wallet, keys, sunscreen, and more. I might actually go check that out myself. So my running belt is probably like $15, and I get that on Amazon. No promo here, just, just saying. Um, depends on, you know, what you want. Now, if you get stuck in the rain, the weather-resistant thing might be pretty good. Okay, this 16-ounce mug for $28 is temperature. They have so many of these out. Um, long walk, slim, lightweight thermos that keeps you cold for 7 hours. I mean, $28 is better than a Yeti, which could be anywhere from 60 to 100 So, I mean, $28 is pretty good. Simply lock the leak, leak quote roof lid. Another one we got here is Ben's Tick and Insect Repellent Wipes for $6. All right, so this might be good. Um, this is actually a pretty good price. I might go get one some of them myself. Ben's Tick and Insect Repellent. You know what? I'm recording this on Labor Day weekend, so none of this is going to help us unless you live in an area where you can go outside year-round because um, the summer's coming to an end. But anyway, you can put this on your wish list for next year, or if you live in an area that you can go hiking all year, that's even better. So I'm going to keep this video short and sweet, but we're going to do we're going to do some more of these because this video, we have money-saving videos, career information, Start your own business. We have some investment stuff going on here. Anything to help you save money, make money, and become wealthy is basically what this channel does. So we're going to put some more of these up. But I don't. I only keep a lot of you for about a minute and a half to two minutes, and then you check out on me. So I'm going to end this video, and I will see you on the next one. Thanks, everybody.